Hi everyone. Um, I really made a horrible discovery. Um, this inside of my hot water heater goes to an uh, entire home audio surveillance system. Um, and none of my neighbors seem to have this in their hot water heater room. Um, and also they had cut something here to get access to my bathtub, my faucet and my sink. I want to show you guys something. So, um, what I discovered is there's like, I don't know if you can see. But there's like a hole in the wall right there on the right hand side, like a little plastic frame sticking out. Um, and it goes to this, which I, I did not order this. My neighbors don't have this in their apartment. It is uh, called On Cue. And um, this is a system for, again, audio, cameras, for anything in your home that you want remote access to, um, to turn on or turn off. And uh, my landlord allowed those monsters. You know, I get stalked by Scientology and they have people from that cult who will, you know, if they hack my phone, they'll find out what I'm going to be doing. They go, usually, like if I'm going to buy a car, if I'm going to go to a hotel, if I'm going to be moving into an apartment, they go to them and completely, you know, will assassinate your character. Um, and they got my landlord to jump on board with them. And the day I was supposed to move in, like on the 10th of September, and I came with my the last payment I needed to make to move in. And after I made the payment, my manager's like, oh no, it's tomorrow. Like he completely switched it at the last minute. Um, so, you know, he gave them time. He gave my stalkers, the people who want to kill me, access to my apartment. Not only access to come into my apartment, but these people could hear everything I'm doing. If I open the door, if, if I if I use the um, stove or, or the um, washer and dryer we have smart appliances here appliances here excuse me I'm just like so sick to my stomach right now I just can't even function um, they've had the ability to my they've had the ability to for instance I'd come home from work really tired wanting to take a hot bath and I hadn't taken a shower that day um, before work and then I'd come home and there's like no hot water so you know they it, and that explains that thing that's going on in my in my hot water heater it's a whole home based system it has home automation so you know if you have something you need to plug in for the internet anything for the cable TV your smart appliances the hot water heater um, if, if you have smart fans that, you know, have cameras on them or they can listen to you, if you have any type of surveillance where, you know, it can be, they can watch you or listen to you, this whole system integrates everything. So my landlord has access to this and my stalkers have access to this. They've moved this fat guy upstairs above me after I moved in and this crazy chick across the way who usually will leave when I leave. Um or like come into a store like randomly and I don't have a regular schedule, I don't have a car. So they'll like, you know, they have these people stalk you. I just came from my neighbor's house and I spoke with one of my neighbors and he, I told him, you know, what I just discovered and I asked him if he had, they had this in his house, their house and they said no. He took a look, he goes no. And then I, I talked to another neighbor, he doesn't have it. Um, and this explains why I didn't have hot water when I went to go take a bath, like five nights in a row, I called the cops and because Norwalk is just, you know, they don't, when I called the cops, the cops won't come here. I was, uh, my phone was also being 
manipulated. They, you know, they, they, they mess with your calls. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even get like the Norwalk police. I was just getting transferred to, to Des Moines. And then I was like, I need a cop to come out to document this. And, and then like the operator was like, you could call back in the morning. And then if I call back in the morning, my hot water was working. Um, another thing that happened after I moved in was when I would go, go to wash clothes, um, the washer machine would not fill up. It would just like go up two inches. So they were like messing with me, already starting to harass me in my apartment. Um, and then upon talking to my neighbor downstairs, um, I was like, yeah, my landlord, our landlord here was like telling everybody I'm a bad person. I'm like, you know about that, right? And he was like, yeah. So like, if I walk out of here, I have neighbors that will get alerted because my, again, when I walk out the door, like this whole place is automated. Uh, it's tied into the system. It's tied into the system. So they're able to know what lights I have on in my apartment. If I walk outside, if I walk in, what I'm saying, um, I even plugged my phone into one of the outlets and it got completely hacked. Some of my videos I had on there, like, were gone. Um, and then the phone started, like, downloading this weird app. And, like, my, my screen started shaking and I couldn't get access to press buttons on my phone to stop it and to, you know. So, like, they, they really corrode. The, they, this is just so horrible right now. I'm so pissed. I'm so sick to my stomach. Um, so again, like if I want to go rent an apartment and because I did get stalked across state lines, they know what I'm doing on my phone. They'll contact, they'll make access to my future landlord, find out all the details about my move in, which apartment I'm moving into so they can move in above me, start moving the other ones in, start harassing me. And then they get, make this campaign and they get everybody who lives in the apartment complex to start hunting me. I asked the guy downstairs, I was like, you know, he told everybody in the apartment complex I'm a bad person. I'm like, they're all like hunting me. I'm like, you know that, right? And he's like, he, and he's like, yeah. So my life is at risk here. I'm not even safe in my own apartment. This dick, Jeremy Barons, B-E-H-R-E-N-S, Jeremy Barons of the Legacy Apartments. This is what I'm talking about with Scientology, guys. Nobody believes me. These people will lie. They will trigger people to completely turn on you, completely start working with them against you. They will violate all your rights up and down 24-7. When I said this in Los Angeles, nobody believes me. And, you know, Scientology is partnered with our government. And this is, this is so messed up on so many levels. You know, I'm so glad I wrote Governor Kim Reynolds a letter. I'm so glad I wrote Senator Grassley a letter. I'm so glad I wrote the mayor of Norwalk and every single person on city council a letter about what's going on. Because not only can I not have a, an apartment, I can't even access hot water when I want to take a bath if these fools, if these stalkers, if these predators want to like torment me through any second of the day. And I had, you know, a certain official got a hold of me, told me, and they told me to contact that. They told me to get back with them. But you know, I've had, I've had obstruction of justice, obstruction of, of, of evidence before. And you know, I do have an attorney right now. I have made a complaint with you know, certain organizations and, and departments, but um, this is serious. He allowed these monsters to put in, and I'm going to read to you. I'm gonna, so like, for instance, you know, they know when I open my door. That's why every time I leave my apartment, I'd start to get stalked. So I started covering these outlets because something was not right. Something's not right. So I had to cover pretty much everything. I had to cover my fans. They're smart fans. Um, and some of them have the ability to watch you. You know, if you buy the kind that are like hidden cameras, they can watch you. They can listen to you. So I just carefully, you know, covered them. 
these right here had, you know, if, if this part is compatible with a, a, a bulb that wants to listen to you or watch you, this whole system can go ahead and do that. Um, you know, so I'm just going to read to you exactly what this, what this system does. It's, 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 um, it's a complete line of home networking, intercom, camera, audio, and lighting control system, home automation um, that's integrated, you know, with your smart appliances. Um, and it's, it's remote wherever you're at. So these monsters, my landlord gave access to these monsters to listen to me, to watch me to hunt me the minute I walk out of the door. And I'm asking you guys, when is this gonna stop? And this is why I'm pissed at President Trump because he knew, he knew these monsters do this. I will never be a Scientologist. I will never be a Scientologist. You know, they duped me when I went to their location, the Celeb Center back in 2005. I went and bought books. I let them know kindly I was a Catholic. I had no plans on, on switching. And what happens to me instead? My whole life gets ruined. These monsters are calling me all the time for money. Then they're sitting outside my house, Patty Babber and like a bunch of other weird Scientologists with a group of people. Then it was like a group of people and a PI. And then after that, like I never had my life anymore. Everyone I come in contact with, because again, they'll hack your phone, they GPS your car, they'll get a hold of anyone you have contact with and tell them not to talk to you. They, they'll say whatever it takes to get that person to turn on you. They might even pay that person to turn on you to, to allow them to bug your phone, bug your, your car, bug whatever it is. Um, so I have this whole complex. Again, I just got done talking with my neighbor downstairs. My landlord, whatever these Scientologists have been t telling my landlord, my landlord, according to the police, I'm getting the video, I'm getting the video of the cop telling me when I call the cops that this, this needs to stop. I got a video of the cop telling me that my landlord requested this uh, for me to get hunted, for neighborhood Iowa State Watch to, to stalk me. And I'm gonna, I'm, I think I made a video of, of of the sign, if I still have it, I'll put it up so you guys can see the Iowa State Watch, what it's called. But, um, so my again, my 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 character is completely assassinated, completely destroyed, no reputation. I couldn't even walk to work because this shit started happening to me. The police were taking part in it. Um, and you know, if I'm such a criminal, how come I'm not arrested? What crimes am I doing? They've had, had total access to my existence here in this apartment. And then they continue to stalk me every time I leave the house. Um, and again, this is 24 seven, they're doing this to me. They have people out in, 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 in the communities waiting for me or come out when I go to certain stores. So this is, you know, this, my landlord's gonna have to be held accountable. Um, this is stalking. This is harassment. This is sexual harassment. This is racial discrimination, sexual discrimination. Um, this is complete criminal activity. I don't care. Nobody has a right to do this to something, someone based on, based on hate. I hate. This is a hate crime. It was thought out. It was planned out. It was all done. And I'm in Iowa. These these crazy these people are racist, racist as hell. And these people got guns. So all they gotta do is pull one of those, you know, that, that guy that got shot as he was jogging, Aubrey. All they gotta do is make up some bullshit, continue to make up some lies about me, and they just shoot me on the spot. They were going to my work, they scared my employees, not my employees, my coworkers, the staff. Um, so you guys, this is what I have to live with. And I wanted to just check in with you guys. Um, again, my, my landlord name is Jeremy Barons of Legacy Apartments in Norwalk. 
on 2701 Cedar and he's taking part in this. He allowed this to happen to me. Never, ever, ever tried to talk to me about this or say, hey, what's going on? He just, that's it. I have no rights in here. I have no privacy, including when I take a bath and including when I take a shower or, or even use the bathroom. I had covered um, the sink in my bathroom with some clear polish because I, I could see this little light glowing from the side of it and from the sink. And my la my neighbor downstairs happened to know about it, and he gaslit me about it, like he threw it in my face out of nowhere. Um, so you guys wish me luck that I get out of here alive, and you guys, I'm so mad. That no one's doing anything about this in Congress. <laughs>